FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here, live on this uh, Monday, the 12th of September. And uh, the Dow is up 280 at 32,438. The turnaround that we saw last week on Thursday was really impressive. And we've come a long way in a very short period of time. And uh, we're looking even at the S&P, which at this particular point is up 44. And 44, let me just get rid of that extra sound that we've got over there. There it is. Don't want to have an echo. Uh, up 43 at 41.11. Very strong leg A. The MACD hasn't yet crossed positive. Stochastic still only at 35%. Does that mean there's a lot left, a lot of room left to go to the upside? We'll talk about that in my show coming up. The Tiger Technicians are in a few minutes. Very strong leg A in the uh, QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle. Up 336 at 310.42. We're looking at the IWM, and the IWM is up very nicely as well, up 225 at 189. Looking at gold, gold is up about $10 at 1737. This is a nice move over the last uh, about seven or eight sessions, but it isn't very big. In other words, it's a nice move to the upside. In fact, silver has a better chart at this particular, look at that beautiful candle today up. Uh, 0.913 at 1968. The TLT, which is bonds, uh, bonds just about unchanged, up 35 cents. And we're looking at crude oil, and crude oil, of course, is very important. It's up $1.93 at 88.73. Now it's back over the 200 period moving average in the daily, but the weekly chart still looks quite weak. I'll be back in a few minutes for the Tiger Technicians album. There's a lot to discuss. How long does this rally last for? Is it a counter trend rally? Is it more than a balance? We'll talk about that as soon as I return. Hope you can stay and uh, great programming all session today here at TFNN, live programming. And I'm just waiting for the queue to say I'm done for this uh, Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update.